What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. Today we have a new card revealed for Phantom Rage. This time it's a for hire card, which is pretty cool. Uh, or I guess a, a card for hire. <laughs> mm. Anyway, <laughs> today we're looking at new style for hire. This is pretty cool to see, honestly, if you are a for hire fan. I've always been a fan uh, really of like the artwork. I think like Unfortunately, the play style of for hires really lends itself to being disrupted very easily, but this card definitely helps with that, and that's what I really like. This could be, honestly, I could see this being an automatic three of in the deck because it is so good, so reactive, so it helps you play through the disruption, helps you extend, helps you like get to certain cards you may not have been able to get to otherwise. It's it's really nice for, that st for those reasons, and um, it's also not very restrictive, like at all. Um, there. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what this card does. First and foremost, you can only activate uh, one card with this name uh, per turn. So obviously, hard once a turn. It's a quick play spell. Keep that in mind, guys. That adds so much versatility. I've, I've said this time and time again is like the best cards in Yu Gi Oh! are quick play spells, right? Like it has the um, flexibility of a trap except it can be activated on turn one, so even more, right? It's literally a trap, but it can just be activated whenever, uh, which is really, really good, uh, in my opinion. It makes for the strongest cards, as long as their effects are good. Anyway, the only restriction on this card says you cannot declare attacks the turn you activate this card, except with monsters for hire, okay? That's not that bad. I mean, you're probably only attacking with for hire monsters anyway. And then the first effect, tribute one monster. Just any monster, which is really nice as well. Special summon from your hand or deck one for higher monster who is one level higher or one lower than that monster's. So pretty much all that is is tribute a monster, get a for higher with one up, le one level higher, one level lower. Very simple, very easy, but very clean in this strategy because sometimes a strategy can struggle with getting to specific cards that it wants to, as well as like extending into things it wants to, as well as setting up certain disruption, right? So like this really helps cover a lot of your bases here. Like, so one of the things that the the cards do is I believe between like, what is it? It's like Dompa and the other one. There's one that pops face up cards, one that pops like face down cards. Uh, but they only trigger, I believe, when or for hire special summon. Special summon. So we already have the quick play monster reborn, but uh, this is just another card that's even that like adds to that, where you're just like special summon from deck on your opponent's turn, fire them off to just like dry it in, essentially, just pop a face up card your opponent controls or a face down card when they set something. It really, it really is nice, and and I think another thing to consider about Phantom Rage for for higher players, we're also getting Tri Brigade. And I know I made my video on Tri Brigades talking about the best archetypes that work with it. For Hire didn't make that list as far as like being one of the better decks with it, but it still works with it because like you have cards like um like our main monster here. I forgot what his name is. I can't remember what his name is, but he's like literally the main like one, the best one in the deck, and he's a warrior, not a beast, beast warrior, wing beast, but still uh, I still think this still helps like get us to certain cards and just like tribute us through. Like the only downsides I really see with this card is it's a minus one. It really is, right? Like you go, you have to tribute a monster and use this card. So you're using two cards essentially to get one out of the deck and it's ashable. So if this card gets ashed, like it's gonna be pretty awkward for you. So that's like the biggest weakness of the card. But other than that, I really don't see weaknesses with the card. Like, it, it's really good. It's really flexible in what it can allow you to do, just getting you to whatever for hire you want. Also, like, the for hires all have once per turn effects to just special summon more for hires out of your hand. Um, so once you fire one off, it could be essentially dead in that situation. So you just trigger that off for another one, and then the new one is going to, like, have a live effect because it doesn't just say anything about negating the monster's effects. You know what I mean? Like, saying you can't summon anything except for for hires. You can still link up into, like, whatever you want. If you wanted to go Appaloosa, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, which is really, really good. So I think this is a really nice card for, for hires. I think paired with the Tri Brigades actually makes for hires, like, pretty interesting. Like, they're definitely... This is definitely a helpful card they needed because it helps them with their biggest weakness, which is the fact that, like, a lot of times, if you just negate their normal summon um, or remove their normal summon they do just straight up pass um so this is a huge piece of support in that regard and i'm really excited to see 
uh, where we go from there. Not only that, but also you can dodge stuff. Like, if you use one of their effects to just, like, special summon of her hire from hand, and they go to, like, Imperm or Veiler or any, like, targeting, like, negation like that, you can use this to chain to it so that way you still get the special from hand and you get the body to, to jump out of the deck at the same time, completely playing, like, around that negation uh, altogether, which is honestly pretty good. So, I don't know. Uh, I like this card. <laughs> I haven't played for, for Hires in a while, but I've always fancied them. I always loved their design. I, I still have their stuff, um, you know, in the, in the, the, you know, in the vault, <laughs> I guess we'll call it, of my cards. But yeah, it's really cool. I don't know. Like if, if you, uh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below on this card. Like seriously, I'm kind of rambling, but let me know your thoughts down below on this card. Do you think this is actually like a really legit bump for for hires, like paired with the tri brigade stuff, or do you think maybe this is just great for for hires in general, um, in like a pure sense? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, if I missed any specific like synergies or anything, um, you know, let me know down below on that and. I guess that's going to do it for me here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! news from me in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.